as it started to catch on more and more, people got more into the vintage aspect of it. So they'd go and buy vintage clothes from the 40s, and you'd see more guys in zoot pants and zoot coats and hats and, um, you know, vintage ties and maybe even vintage wingtips or spectator shoes, you know, the black and whites. Uh, and the women would be wearing whatever dresses they could find that fit them from the 40s, which, you know, it's, it's hard finding um, vintage clothes because if you're going to be doing something active, it's not terribly practical. The clothes don't hold up nearly as well as the kind of stretchy fabrics that we have now. Right now, you kind of get a mix of all of that. You get um, people who are really decked out. You get people who are doing a kind of more European, um, trendy style, almost kind of like what I have on, like pants and a skirt that goes down over the pants. Then you get people who are in t-shirts and jeans, and you get people who are all decked out in vintage stuff. So it, it really varies at the moment, but it did kind of go through this wave of trying to figure out what people wanted to do. And right now, you can kind of do anything. <laughs> Normally, men are leads and women are follows, but in Seattle, everyone pretty much, not everyone, but a lot of people know both parts and switch back and forth. So you'll see men dancing with men and women dancing with women and women leading men and all kinds of things.